Hi folks, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Uh, welcome back to another video and uh, hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Um, hope you're getting some clear skies as well. I had some clear nights here this past week, a uh, couple, and uh, was able to finish up some imaging on M101 and I got a couple hours on M13 as well, uh, both of which uh, turned out pretty good and happy with them. So I'm going to be posting those on my website and uh, with some acquisition details. And uh, the uh, reason for this video here is I've been the last, uh, well, let's see here, two, three, four, three or four times that I've been imaging over the last little while. Um, I've been spending with Nina. Uh, that's the open source astrophotography software. And um, it's sort of captivated me. I've sort of uh, uh, very intrigued by it. Um, I, I, I'm still working with it and I'm still testing it and still uh, trying to do some imaging with it. So the last video was my second attempt and um, it, uh, I had a problem with the Meridian Flip it, where it failed and I thought uh, maybe there were some settings that I had wrong with uh, Nina. I wasn't really sure what was going on. Um, basically just to uh, uh, bring everyone up to speed in case you don't recall or didn't watch the other video, um, the Meridian Flip would happen and then the mount would stop tracking before the plate solve and because the stars were streaked then in the image that the plate solve took, um, it would fail. So it wouldn't recenter the object um, in the field of view. I wasn't sure why the mount was being instructed to stop tracking. Um, it was, I was sort of baffled by this, and I, I kept, I looked at some of the settings in Nita, but I couldn't really figure out if there was something that I had set up wrong. So I went over to the chat forum for Nina and uh, talked to a few people there and got some good insight. And I was uh, uh, directed, uh, sent in a certain direction that uh, um, helped me uh, determine what the problem was. So I wanted to update everyone as to what that problem was, what the solution was. Um, so let's have a look at Nina and how it does the Meridian flip and the plate solving and, and so forth. And we'll see how the mount stopped tracking during the Meridian flip. And then we'll see when the Meridian flip is successfully performed. Um, and then I can explain what the problem was and uh, what the solution was. Okay, so this uh, is a recording of Nina from the other night when I was doing the imaging and had the meridian flip problem. Um, I was imaging M101 that night, uh, getting some more data on it. Um, so what happens is that uh, when it reaches, um, you can define in Nina um, how many uh, minutes past the, uh, the meridian you want the uh, flip to occur. And I had that set and it, um, I gave it a couple minutes past and it uh, uh, that that always worked well for me I, I never had any issues with a couple minutes past I know some people uh, recommend uh, letting it go longer but I've never had an issue in fact uh, sometimes I've only set it to uh, one minute or, or less and it's worked just fine so um, I knew that wasn't the problem there was something else going on and uh, so what happens is um, Nina invokes the meridian flip when it reaches that point in the acquisition um, as it's uh, doing its acquisition uh, throughout the night. And, um, and it's just, it, it has a countdown to it, which occurs. And uh, all that was going fine. I'm just uh, move forward a bit here. And what it does is it starts flipping the scope. And as you can see over here, um, the sidereal uh, tracking rate is enabled um, as it's flipping the scope. But when I move, when I get uh, when I get to the other side of the pier, the tracking stopped, and um, it went into its settle time for the mount, which was fine. It was supposed to do that, settle for 15 seconds, and then it attempted to plate solve its uh, position. And um, it took its exposure, which was a 10 second exposure. But remember that it, it stopped tracking. For some reason, the mount stopped tracking. And as you can see, the stars are trailed. And 
I tried re-enabling the tracking, um, but it didn't work. It, it just would not engage. And I, it hadn't dawned on me um, exactly what the problem was because I had never ran into the problem before. Um, but it was one, one setting that I had and uh, enabled which uh, caused the problem. And um, that's where I shot over to the, uh, the uh, Nina chat uh, forum there and, uh, and just uh, told everyone, just, just put my problem out there and uh, got some excellent feedback, very quick feedback actually. And um, as it turns out, uh, the problem was in the uh, EQ mod actually. Uh, and I shouldn't say it's a problem because it's not a problem. Um, it was simply a setting that I had. And that setting um, was for the mount limits. So how far the mount could uh, could go before uh, EQ mod would, uh, would would disable the uh, the mount from uh, from moving anymore, so it wouldn't hit the pier. And and that's fine. You you know, there's nothing that that's act, that's good. That's a good feature, and and you want to be able to utilize that. But uh, so what I did was I went to the settings in EQ Mod and I uh, just for the test purpose I uh, I disabled the mount limits and uh, so that it wouldn't instruct the mount to stop tracking and uh, as you can see here I'm on the uh, the form the chat form and uh, I'm just letting everyone know that I had the limits enabled and uh, that's probably uh, what uh, what the problem was um, so let's flip over to the next video. And in this video here, uh, this is a successful Meridian flip that's going to occur. Uh, I was on uh, M13 at the time. So it's starting to uh, flip the scope over to the other side of the pier again. And if you look over here, the sidereal tracking is on, which is perfect. Uh, that's what we want. And I'm going to just uh, move forward here in the video just because it uh, takes a while for the scope to flip over and then it reached its it uh, flipped over the side aerial was still enabled it was still tracking and it did its settle time for the mount of 15 seconds and it began recentering the object taking its plate solve exposure and as we'll see it uh, was successful uh, in taking the uh, the image and uh, um, having uh, stars available for it to plate solve with. So um, Nina was uh, continuing to refine the centering of M101 after it did the uh, Meridian flip. Uh, but so all it was uh, was an EQ mod setting that I had enabled, which uh, is good to set your mount limits, but uh, turning it off, I was able to... Um, uh, determine that that was the reason. So basically what happened was the uh, the uh, the mount had reached its limit as set um, as I had it set in EQ mod and it stopped tracking uh, thinking that it was going to hit the pier um, which it actually still had more room uh, so it wouldn't have hit the pier but nonetheless that's this is all blind basically right so there's you know it doesn't it doesn't see it doesn't know it only knows what it's told and um, I had in, had it enabled to uh, to stop tracking. So that was uh, an interesting yet frustrating uh, little little thing that uh, eluded me. And um, but I got it fixed. I uh, got it uh, got it set right now, and it's corrected. So that's not going to be a problem in the future. Uh, the mount limits are are uh, set up a little differently, and um, I won't have that uh, that issue happening now. And so that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, always appreciated. If you are a current subscriber, thank you very much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, um, maybe consider subscribing. And uh, keep a watch for more videos to come. And uh, here's wishing you all clear skies. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.